Good freaking morning. We're back at this countertop. Don't, don't. This cat makes me want to lose my mind. Even though I'm in someone else's house. We still have the Harry cup. I only have cold brew here because my espresso machine isn't here, obviously, because this is in my house. I got up. I got in bed at like 9.30 last night and then I didn't go to bed until like 11.30, which is just my fault. Like I should have gone to bed earlier because I'm literally sleep deprived. For me, I've been going, I've been getting like six, seven and a half hours of sleep. And that may sound like a good amount to some, but for my body, I sleep for 10 to 12 hours every night, if I could. If I have the time, I'm sleeping 10 to 12 hours and that's when I wake up. But dog sitting is a little bit different because they just wake you up whenever they want anything. Three, it was 3.47. I got up at 3.47 today to let them outside. 3.47 in the a.m. to let the dogs go pee because they just, they had to go. And then four hours later, they have to get fed and go again. And like, I have dogs, I have a lot of pets. I have more pets than this place has, but I guess my dogs are just more independent than these guys, which is why I'm dog sitting them. Like babysitting, dog sitting. I have no problem with it though, I honestly enjoy it for the most part. It's like my own little getaway house that I just come to for a few days and I don't see anyone else. It's great, unless I have to go to work. I just put this in the fridge with no lid on it and I was sliding it in sideways. It's all over the fridge now. I don't even know how I did that. The only downside, it's not really a downside, but it's more just part, a thing that gives me it's more just a part of this that gives me anxiety. I don't know when they're gonna get home. They don't tell me what time they're gonna get home until like, I don't know when. It's a guessing game. Last time they didn't tell me when they were gonna get home until they were like 30 minutes away. And that makes me really anxious because like, what if I still had things to do to before they got here? But I didn't, whatever. It just gives me anxiety. And I do not wanna be here when they get here. That is the worst thing ever. I like this family. This family, we're family friends. We've been family friends for a long time, but I do not want to see them after dog sitting here for four days. And I don't think they'd want to see me either. I just want to know if I can go back to bed and them not show up with me still asleep in their bed. Did you, is it clicking? So anyway, I'm gonna go lay back down in bed and we'll see where the day takes me. I really wanna to go to PetSmart and get a dog harness. Is that interesting? No, but I have a big dog. He's a great pair and he's um, Australian, um, Anatolian Shepherd mix. And I want him to become my best friend. I wanna take him on walks um, in like national forests and at parks, and but he's not trained at all. He has no idea how to even walk on a leash. He turns two in September, but he's, Humongous. Humongous. I wonder how much a giant, extra, extra, extra large dog harness is going to cost, but whatever. Does that sound like a voice to you? Guess what? I'm still here. I decided that if I want to go get food when I leave, I'm probably going to leave in like 30 minutes. But when I leave, I might go get brunch by myself or something. This Panama City crew neck with this white undershirt. With my basic straight leg jeans and a beanie. It's like nothing special. It's really basic and boring and whatever. I'm gonna put on a tiny bit of makeup. I feel like I wanna go out and get myself brunch because I don't know what else to do. I've been alone for a few days. Um, why not just go do something else by myself?
I feel gross. Do y'all have those days? I just feel disgusting. Like I just feel like my face is gross. My outfit's gross. This makeup is gonna look gross on my gross face. Get away from me. This camera angle is gross. Like what is this? Today is the last day of spring break. That's probably what is also affecting my mood. My subconscious knows that and I'm just kind of losing my mind. My skin feels flaky. Wow. I do not feel good. Okay, I'm gonna hunt out some perfume and I guess I'm just gonna go. My car is packed. I'm leaving now. I actually have to go home because I have to, I have like cold food and like my milk and my creamer and stuff I have to put away. And then we go do stuff. Do I know what stuff? Not completely. I'm trying to make sure that I like remembered everything. I'm really ner- every time I leave, I'm nervous that I forgot to either do something, I left something on, or I forgot something of my own. Like I'm already driving away, so like, worst comes to worst, I just have to come back. Which would actually be awful, I don't want to have to do that. Even just leaving an article of clothing would be awful. Cause it would be embarrassing. Cause I like change in like three different spots in their house. I don't wanna have to come back cause I left my pants or something. Like how embarrassing would it be if I left my pants? That's just, in any scenario, that just sounds awful. And it'd be different if, if it was like, like friend's house, like that's fine. This is like a family. What if I left a pair of underwear? That's awful. Am I talking about this too much? I think it's a fear that everyone has, to be honest, because, like, who wouldn't fear leaving your pants or underwear at someone else's family house? I'm home. I'm gonna put my stuff away, and then we're gonna go do something. How are you? Hi. Hi, I changed. Okay, here's the game plan. So, there's a few errands I wanna run. Are they interesting? Probably not, but are you gonna watch? I hope so. I wanna go get a dog harness. Maybe two. For, but first, I'm going to mod pizza to get a little veggie pizza cause I'm hungry. An $8.39 pizza? Sure, sign me up. I wanna go to either Walmart or the Dollar Tree to get um, like meal pet prep containers because I want to start meal prepping. So that's what I have in store for right now, today. So let's go do it. I have to order my mod pizza on my phone, so I'll see you at mod. Guess what? I made it to mod. I'm gonna run in there and grab it and then either sit in this parking lot or sit in the Pet Supply Plus parking lot and eat it and watch a YouTube video because I love doing that. I love getting food and just sitting down and watching a YouTube video. That is like the best thing ever. I got my coffee, it's sweating. I made another one. This isn't the same one that I made this morning. I got it. Um, I'm actually gonna go I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna park somewhere else while I can because I realized I parked really bad and I'm embarrassed. A big man in a big truck tried to park next to me. Luckily he pulled through, but I was like, oh my gosh, please, sir. Don't watch me get in my car right now. I don't want you to know that it was me that parked that bad. Those parking spots were little too. I'm just trying to make myself feel better with excuses. I only ever go to work and so I only ever park at work and the parking spots at work are much bigger. And I can park very straight. I'm a good parker at work, but in that little parking lot, mm -mm, I was crooked. Luckily, like I was still in the lines, but I was crooked to where I was just making it harder on myself to get out. All right, hopefully these parking spots are bigger and better. Large and in charge, I would prefer. I like large and in charge parking spots. Those are really easy and, and I'm grateful for them. Yep, that works. Okay, let's try to make it straight this time. No promises though. Okay, I'm in the lines, that's all that matters. Pet Supply Plus. I'm gonna eat my pizza now. Do you wanna see it? 
tiny little box for a tiny little pizza. Boom. Veggie vegan pizza with vegan cheese. I finished my pizza. I'm quick with it. The eating, I'm like a military person. I'm like a, I'm like a, I'm like I'm in the military when I eat. I think I inherited fast eating from my father. He was in the military. He eats fast. Is I don't want to get out. Oh wait, I have mascara on. I can't rub my eyes. I hate wearing mascara. I don't know why I put it on. I regret it every time afterwards. Let's go into the um, the Pet Supply Plus dog harness. Dog harness. Dog harnesses. I just want to peruse. I like pet stores, but I never have ever gotten to just peruse in one. I'm gonna do that today. Everyone just appeared out of nowhere. There's like four people here now. I'm in the line. I got the goods. Was I expecting to spend $34 on the goods? No. This is the harness I went with. It's big and it feels like good material and it's gonna wrap all the way around him. And it has a handle. He's a big dog. You haven't even seen him yet, but I'll show him to you. I'm just really impatient. I did find one on Amazon that was $10. And like, in total, it would have been like $16 with shipping. But I'm just impatient and I didn't want to wait. Two days which is kind of ridiculous, but I'm impatient and I want um, excitement and happiness now, not in two days. So I got this one. I was deciding between green, this like lime green color and this red. And I really was gonna get the green one, but I ended up going with the red one instead. One, because I felt like the green one might stain more easily and like the dirt would be more apparent. And second of all, I think red is a more scary color and i want him to be a little bit threatening i want him to be a little bit scary he's not that scary he's not really a guard dog he's a big big dog he's a anatolian shepherd great pyrenees mix but he's not really scary not in like a bad way but like oh she has a dog like if someone wanted to try to rob me or threaten me they wouldn't do it because i had a big dog in a red harness not a green harness I'm gonna just stop talking. I'm gonna go to Dollar General now. Woo woo. Honestly, I love the Dollar Store. It's it's a fun place. I'm at the Dollar General finally. I took probably the road to get here is awful. I took the wrong turn twice. I about lost my mind. And then I had to go all the way around the town to get back to this store. I about lost, I'm literally, I'm like, oh. but whatever, we're going in now, so. Just kidding, we're going to a different Dollar General because that one sucks and doesn't have anything. And apparently there's a new one a little bit farther away from me, so I'm just gonna go to that one instead. Okay. Sorry, this video is a little bit all over the place. I made it. Let's go now, I'm done with this. That's They didn't even have what I really wanted, but I got something anyway. Do you want a haul of my two things? So I went in there for cute containers that I could heat up in the oven because I don't really like using the microwave. And I wanted more. I wanted like seven of them so I could like each day of the week, I could just have that and put it in the oven and heat it up. Well, they didn't have them like my mom said they did. They had like mugs, but I was looking for like flat plate, like plate more looking things, not mugs. Okay, but I didn't want to leave empty handed because I wanted to meal prep today. So I got this thing of tin for $8 instead. So it's a start. So I can actually do something today. I'm kind of sad about it, I'm not gonna lie. But then to make myself feel better, I got rainbow sour belts, because I love these things. That is an awful backing up noise, Prime. They parked right next to me. There's quite literally places everywhere and he parked right next to me. Okay, I'm gonna go home now and put my dog harness on my dog. 
Let's see how this goes. This is Fuzzy. Also, his name is Jasper. Hi, baby. How are you? Oh, you look so handsome. At first, he was scared of it, but I think he knows it's okay now. Or he doesn't even know it's on him. Look at you, Bubbles. Oh, but. Hi. Let's meal prep now. I have a rice cooker. I'm gonna make a buttload of rice. I think I'm gonna do a full cup of rice in each with like four ounces of seitan, which is like vegan chicken, and then probably two cups of broccoli. I'm gonna make five cups of rice and I'm gonna evenly distribute the five cups of rice for seven days. So it's not gonna be a full cup in each meal, but that's okay. I'm gonna roast bake 14 cups of broccoli, if I even have that much, and 14 cups. 14 cups is a lot less than I thought it was. I eat half, I eat seven cups of broccoli. Easy. I had no idea. One cup of broccoli is like that. It's like that much. This is avocado oil. Salt, pepper. Uncle Chris's steak seasoning. Perfect pinch steak seasoning. Now I'm just gonna put this in the oven at 400 for like 30 to 45 minutes because I like my broccoli really cooked. I washed all my containers. Now it's time to fill them with rice because my rice is done. Oh my gosh, I have to make seitan. I forgot about that part. I don't want to. Container. Did I not make enough rice? This just seems sad. I as evenly as possible as I could even them out. It's not that bad of amount of rice now that I'm looking at it. Could I eat a lot more? <laughs> yes. Broccoli. Perfectly cooked. I even forgot about it, but it's perfectly cooked. I'm just gonna put a few pieces in each bowl and hope that it's like the right amount. This is like not as much food as I thought it was gonna be. Now I'm gonna make seitan. A very fast seitan recipe. Go. A cup of water. Two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. A tablespoon of soy sauce. And one to two tablespoons of barbecue sauce. And then halfway into me making this recipe, I just stopped talking. Um, I was done. But then you just add like a whole can of chickpeas, a cup of, of flour of your choice, glutinous wheat flour, whatever the heck. Yeah, and then you blend it. That's This is where I ended it. I don't even know what to say at this point. I literally just blended it up in a food processor, rolled it out, boiled it, and then put it in my meals. If you watch this long, I love you, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.